Well, Ma, the day has come. You're losing one of your chicks. Frank Gibbs, don't you say another word. Oh, I feel like crying every minute. Just sit down and drink your coffee. The groom's upstairs shaving himself. Only thing, there ain't a whole awful lot to shave. Oh. Singing and whistling and singing like he's had glad to leave us. Every now and then he says, I do to the mirror, but it don't sound convincing to me. Oh, I declare, Frank. I don't know how he'll get along. I've arranged his clothes and seen to it that he puts warm things on. Oh, Frank, they're too young. Emily won't think of such things. He'll catch his death of a cold in the first week. I was remembering my wedding morning, oh, Julia. Now, don't you start with that, <laughs> I was Frank the scaredest Gibbs. young fella in New Hampshire. I thought I'd make a mistake for sure. And then I saw you coming down that aisle, and you were the prettiest girl oh. I'd ever seen. Only trouble was, I'd never seen you before. There I was in the Congregational Church, ready to marry a total stranger. Well, how do you think I felt? Oh, Frank, weddings are perfectly awful. Farces, that's what they are. Here, I made something special for you. What, Julia Hersey? French toast? Ain't hard to do, and I had to do something. I just sleep last night, Julia. Well, I heard a lot of hours strike off. <laughs> yes. I get a shock every time I think of George setting off to be a family man. That great gangling thing. I tell you, Julia, there's nothing so terrifying in the world as a son. The relation of father and son is the darndest, well, the awkwardest. Mother and daughter is no picnic, let me tell you. They'll have lots of troubles, I suppose. That's their business. Everyone has a right to their own troubles. Yes. People are meant to go two by two in life. Tain't natural to be lonesome. 